Welcome everyone to Live with Miss V. Today's lesson is going to be super fun, so I hope you guys tune in for the whole lesson. And we're going to start off today with a song. Is everyone ready? In fact, the forest is a habitat we depend on. Habitat, habitat, have to have a habitat, 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 have to have a habitat, habitat. Sing it with me. Have to have a habitat, you have to have a habitat to carry on. Guitar break, go. Sing it with me. All right, I'm going to say some habitats. Ready? The desert. The tundra, the forest, the ocean. All right, do air guitar with me. Ready? Grasslands. Here we go. The river is a habitat, a very special habitat. It's where the freshest water's at for people, fish, and muskrat. But people, when they dump their trash, rivers take the biggest strap. The river is a habitat we depend on. Oats are different than foxes and rabbits. Affect the whole world with our bad habits. Better to love it while we still have it. Or rat a tat tat, our habitat's gone. Habitat, sing it with me. Have to have a habitat, habitat, habitat. Have to have a habitat, habitat, habitat. Have to have a habitat, you have to have a habitat to carry on. Last time, ready? You have to have a habitat to carry on. You have to have a habitat to carry on. Woo! Habitat to carry on. Da -da -da. All right, can anybody guess what we're going to be talking about today? We only said it like a hundred times in our song. We're going to talk about habitats. But what is, what is a habitat? Well, it is a home. It's a home for living things. You might think of a habitat as a living thing's address. Every living thing has a place that is best for it. The place has what a living thing needs. We know what living things, things need, right? They need food, air, water, and shelter. Well, a habitat provides these things for each and every animal. The habitat also has to have the right climate, the right temperature, and it has to have the right predators too, and we'll talk about that. All right, so today we have our airline ticket, and we're going to travel around the world to different habitats. All right, I want you to type in, in the comments, which habitat do you think we're gonna go to first? All right, let's hear what you think. Which habitats or habitat will we travel to first? I wanna hear your idea. So we're gonna go all around the world Any ideas yet? All right, these are some of the questions that we're gonna answer at each habitat. We're gonna talk about what does the habitat look like? What do we see? What animals live there? And how does that habitat uh, meet the needs of that animal or of those animals? 
okay? All right, well, are you ready to travel with me to our first destination? Here we go. Let's get our tickets ready. Here we go. Anybody want to guess where I am? Oh my goodness. It's super cold. Okay, who can guess? Where are we? We are in the tundra. Listen. It's so cold and windy. The tundra is a cold, treeless area. There are no trees. It has very low temperatures and very little precipitation. That means rain or snow. And it has very few nutrients. Okay, there are two types of tundra. There's the Arctic tundra and the Alpine tundras. Well, today we are at the Arctic tundras. No? <laughs> Hold on. I'm the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what animals do we see here? I see a beluga whale. I see an Arctic hare, a lynx, an Arctic wolf, an Arctic fox, a polar bear, an Arctic tern. This is a bird that lives in the Arctic, a musk ox caribou, which is a reindeer. And then we have a little puffin and a stoat. It looks like um, one of those mole animals, but that it lives in the Arctic. All right, so all of these animals live in the tundra. But now we're going to visit with one animal. And this is the Arctic fox. The Arctic fox. Let's learn about him. The Arctic fox is an incredibly hardy animal that can survive the frigid Arctic temperatures as low as negative 58 degrees in the treeless lands where it makes its home. It has furry soles <laughs> and it has short ears and a short muzzle that are all adaptations to the chilly climate. Arctic foxes live in burrows and in blizzard, and in a blizzard they can tunnel in the snow to create shelter. Arctic foxes have beautiful white coats that act as very effective winter camouflage. Camouflage is when an animal is able to hide itself from other predators. All right, the Arctic fox has um, some predators at, in the Arctic. It has the polar bear and the ox and the lynx. These are all the Arctic fox's predators. Predators mean that these animals eat this Arctic fox. They survive off of the Arctic fox. Okay, so the Arctic fox eats rodents, birds, and even fish. But in the winter, prey can be scarce on the ground. So Arctic foxes will follow the premier predator, which is the polar bear, to eat leftover scraps from its kills. Foxes will also eat vegetables when they are available. Like a cat, the fox's thick tail aids its balance. But for the Arctic fox, the tail is especially useful as cover in the cold, cold weather. All right, so look at what we learned about the tundra. The tundra can be in Canada, Alaska, Greenland, 
all of those parts of the world. All right, but now we're gonna travel to our next place. And here we go. arriving let's guess where we are now it's definitely warm now it's super warm let's listen to the sounds Has anyone guessed where we are? We're in the rainforest. This is the rainforest. The rainforests are very warm and wet and they have millions of plants and animals. Rainforests are extremely important in the ecology of the earth because we get most of our oxygen from the rainforest. All right, let's see what animals live here. You ready to look? Let's see what we find. Oh, there's a spider monkey. There's a lemur. A chimpanzee. There's a bit of a poor connection in the rainforest because we're way out here in South America. All right, we have a blue morpho butterfly. Did everyone see the sloth? He's so slow. And then we have a red-eyed tree frog. And by the waterfall, we have some black caiman. They're little, little alligators. And then look at the beautiful macaw. Let's see what we can find down here in the ground. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, there's a tarantula. What else do we see? There's a tiger. Oh, this is an okapi. It kind of looks like a zebra. It lives in the rainforest. We have a tiger and we have a cap, uh, capapabra, I think is what it's called. Let's look up here. Oh no, wait. Oh, what is that? <gasps> it's a boa constrictor. Oh my goodness, I hope you're not scared of snakes. It's hiding there in the bushes. Whew. All right, let's look up on the tree. Oh, there's a toucan. And then one of my favorites, that we're gonna talk about today is a jaguar. Let's visit with the jaguar today. The jaguar is the only big cat in the Americas. We're in South America right now. And it's the third biggest in the world after tigers and lions. They look a lot like leopards, and which the leopards live in Africa and Asia, but the jaguar spots, if you look at the jaguar spots, they're more complex. They have a lot more detail and they often have a dot in the center. You see in the middle of the spot, it has a dot. Now, unlike other cats, the jaguars do not avoid water. They love to swim and they actually hunt for fish and turtles and even caimans. Oh, the ones that are over there by the waterfall. So the jaguar is the predator to these animals. They also eat deer and capybaras, which are the ones that are down there. And they also eat a number of land animals. And guess what, when they like to hunt these animals, they do it at night, they are nocturnal. 
and jaguars live by themselves they love to lay in trees and they're very territorial that means they don't like any other animals in their space and like we know we find them in the rainforest habitat so do you see why this habitat is perfect for the jaguar it has everything it needs it has its food it has shelter in the trees it has lots of air because the rainforest has the cleanest oxygen and it has tons of water because it rains all the time so the jaguar loves living in the rainforest okay we're gonna travel to our next place are you ready does anybody want to guess who wants to guess where we're going next so we've been to the tundra we've been to the rainforest where are we going to next let me see comment comment your guesses where do you think we're going let's see what you think anybody want to guess no guesses desert we have a desert Ooh, the desert Ooh, that would be so hot i'm already hot in the rainforest it's so humid here it's so humid humid means there's a lot of water in the air and it's very hot we have north america north america you know what though i kind of want to go somewhere that's super refreshing all right are you ready we're gonna travel get your airline tickets ready here we go What is this habitat called? This is called the ocean. We're in the ocean. This is where we really wish we could be at the beach. We see lots of animals here in the ocean. Let's see what we can find. We see, ooh, we see a shark. There's a shark. There are some starfish. A whale. Ooh, that's a big whale. Ooh, a stingray. We have lots of different fishes. There's Nemo. There's a clownfish. There's a dolphin jumping out of the water. They love to jump. Lots of different fish. All right, oceans cover almost three fourths of the Earth's surface. That means most of the Earth is ocean. And it contains roughly 97 percent of all the water in the world we find in the oceans but the bad thing is that the ocean has salt water so we can't drink it and that's why our second grade project about conserving water is so important all right and so the o the ocean has salty water and it is home to many animals millions of animals and in, in fact the ocean has the most um, animals from any other habitat it has the most okay and then the earth's oceans there are actually five and they're all connected to each other so the earth has the pacific the atlantic the indian the arctic and the southern oceans and there are also many seas all right but let's learn about oh he fell down here here he is today we're going to visit with the beautiful sea turtle sea turtles are so beautiful and they live hundreds of years okay sea turtles are also called marine turtles 
And they have been on Earth for more than a hundred million years, which makes them the oldest animal on the planet, even older than dinosaurs. Sea turtles live in almost every ocean throughout the world, and they make their nests in tropical and subtropical beaches. So the turtle will go to the beach and lay its eggs. And they are reptiles. A sea turtle is one of the classes of animals. They live their entire life in the sea, except when they come to lay their eggs on the beach. And the baby sea turtles, after 60 days, will emerge from their sandy nest and make their way to the ocean. And they will spend their first few years of their life in the ocean until they get old enough to come back to the beach and lay their eggs. So the sea turtle is a beautiful animal, reptile that lives in the ocean habitat. Let's think about how this habitat meets the sea turtle's needs. Well, sea turtles eat fish. They also eat algae and plants that are down at the bottom. And sea turtles live underwater. They have gills, even though we can't really tell. All right, so they breathe, They have to breathe their oxygen in the water. And they have fins instead of feet like land turtles which means they are able to swim. So the ocean is the perfect habitat for the sea turtle. All right. Well, I love being in the ocean, but it's time to travel on. Does anyone want to guess where we're going to next? Where are we going to next? Any ideas? All right, get your airline tickets ready. Okay, everyone, we've reached our destination. We are in the woodland forest. This is different from the rainforest. In this habitat, it's more, it's drier than the rainforest, and there are also different animals in this habitat. The way you know if you're in the forest is there are lots and lots of trees. If there are more trees than there is open ground, that's how you know you're in the forest. And the forest has lots of different kinds of trees. The woodland forest has coniferous trees. Coniferous trees grow cones. And let's see if I can see any. I don't think I see any cones here, but if we were to see cones, you would know that you are, that is a coniferous tree, it grows cones. And deciduous trees are the trees that change colors in the fall and their leaves fall off in the winter and they grow back in the spring. So oak trees and maple trees are deciduous and you probably have some in your neighborhood. I'm pretty sure you saw in the fall, all of the leaves come off the trees and now that it's springtime, they've come back. All right, so let's look at some of the animals that live here in the forest. What animals do you see? Type them in, what do you see? Ooh, a bunny. There's a beautiful little bunny. We see a fox. We see some deer, little baby deer. Raccoons. Now raccoons have adapted, they can live anywhere. You've probably seen them in your neighborhood, but their habitat is the forest. Squirrels, I bet you see a lot of squirrels by your house. Well, the squirrels live in the forest. All right, now one of my favorite birds that we're gonna visit with today is the spotted owl. The spotted owl also lives in the forest. 
Now a spotted owl is a bird. It has a beak and it has two feet. It has talons. This is what it uses to kill its prey. And it has wings and feathers. That is how we know it is a bird. Let's learn a little bit more about the owl. All right, spotted owls eat mammals like flying squirrels. Uh-oh, squirrel, you better hide. Wood rats, mice. Also, they eat some birds and reptiles and amphibians and insects. So that means that the owl is omnivorous. It eats plants and animals. Um, it likes to build its nest on the top of trees that are broken. So when you see broken branches, that's where the owl likes to make its nest. And the females lay an average of two eggs, and then the eggs take 30 days to hatch. And then when the, when the chicks, the owl's babies are called chicks, when they, when they hatch, they move out of the nest when they're five weeks old and they learn how to fly when they're six weeks old. Now, spotted owls do not typically nest every year. So sometimes you'll just, you'll see them just by flying around by themselves. Also, spotted owls are mostly nocturnal, but they also forage for food during the day. But most of the time you'll see owls at night and you'll hear them go, You'll hear them at night, right? We actually have owls in this area. So of the four habitats, I want you to type in which one is your favorite. We visited the tundra, the rainforest, the ocean, and the woodland forest. All right, type it in. I wanna see which habitat is your favorite. And then which animal in that habitat is your favorite? Which habitat is your favorite and which animal in that habitat is your favorite? All right, we're going to go home now. You guys ready? Alright everyone, thank you for traveling with me today. It was so fun to travel around the world. We visited the tundra, we visited the rainforest, the ocean, and the woodland forest. And these are all called habitats. Habitat is an animal's place where they live. You can think of it as their address. And the habitat meets their needs. That means they are able to find their food, their water, their air, and their shelter. So depending on the habitat where they live, the animal is able to survive there the best. Okay, so for my first graders, one of your project options is to create an animal habitat, but for an alien animal on an alien planet. So make sure you check that out on the website. The activity is there. You can choose the, an the alien habitat and then you will design the animal that lives there. So you're gonna have to think about what will that animal need in order to survive in that habitat? So let's say you choose the ocean habitat. Well, whatever animal you create is going to have to be able to breathe underwater and eat whatever food is found in the ocean. So that's what you need to think about when you're creating your project, okay? So for your activity, this is what I want you to do and send it to me today permission and I want you to find what habitats are in your own neighborhood because guess what everyone we have habitats everywhere even in our neighborhoods and I want you to find what the habitat <clears throat> or in your neighborhood is and then I want you to compare it with one of the habitats that we visited so maybe you can compare it to the tundra or to the rainforest so when you compare it means you talk about what's the same and what's different what do they have in common and what do they have different Okay, and then I want you to choose one animal that you learned about today and draw him in his habitat and explain how that habitat meets the animal's needs. 
okay? So that is what I want you to do today. I hope you enjoyed visiting the world and visiting all these different habitats. How about while we leave, we take one final look at each habitat that we visited. Here we go. All right. All right, boys and girls, some of you weren't here for the beginning of the lesson, so I'm going to sing it again. We're going to sing a Habitat song, and I want to hear you singing it along with me. This is called the Habitat song. Is everyone ready? Here we go. I want you to sing it with me. Ready? Habitat, Habitat, Habitat. To have a habitat, 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 have to have a habitat, 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 have to have a habitat, you have to have a habitat to carry on. The ocean is a habitat, a very special habitat. It's where the biggest water's at, it's where the biggest mammals at, where our future food is at, keeps the atmosphere intact. The ocean is a habitat. We depend on here. Sing it with me. Habitat, habitat, have to have a habitat, 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 have to have a habitat, 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 have to have a habitat. You have to have a habitat to carry on. The forest is a habitat, a very special habitat. It's where the tallest trees are at, where a bear can scratch your back. Keeps the ground from rolling back, renews the oxygen. In fact, the forest is a habitat we depend on. Sing it with me. Habitat, habitat, have to have a habitat. Habitat, habitat, have to have a habitat. Habitat, habitat, have to have a habitat. You have to have a habitat to carry on. All right, we're going to say all the habitats that we know. The tundra. Uh, the rain for the ocean. Is everyone ready? Here we go. The desert, the river. All right, air guitar with me, ready? The grasslands, the safari. All right, here we go, ready? The 
river is a habitat, a very special habitat. It's where the freshest water's at for people fishing muskrat. But when people dump their trash, rivers take the biggest strap. The river is a habitat we depend on. Foxes are different than people and rabbits. Affect the whole world with our bad habits. Better to love it while we still have it. Or rat a tat tat. Our habitat's gone. Sing it with me. Habitat, habitat, have to have a habitat, 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 have to have a habitat, 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 have to have a habitat, you have to have a habitat to carry on. You have to have a habitat to carry on. Do it in a mouse voice. You have to have a habitat to carry on. Whisper. All right, boys and girls, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Choose your favorite animal, draw him in his habitat, and look for habitats around in your neighborhood. And I will see you very soon.